I'm at Helipebs in Gloucester. I'm here to come and look at the XYZ machine installations that they've had or have uh, come into the business since 2008. I'm going to talk to Paul Perkin here. He's going to take me around the machine shop and, and talk to me about the individual purchases. So, Paul, if you could uh, step this way. Let's start with the LPM machine. What, why did you buy this machine and what's it done for the company? Uh, why we bought these is because we do a lot of ours marked out in manuals. And because these manuals are hard to come by now, I looked into something different that would do this. And with the help of XYZ, we come up with this LPM, which has really transformed the way we, we do our drilling section now. So um, with help of our apprentices, they, and you can see what they're doing now, they're actually improving this section by about 50%. So the LPM is a, is a production machine in sense, but I say production, but it can be used for production, but also uh, a, tool room type. It's a one-off one machine. So it will do one or two machine jobs at a time, or it can do a production. The control's exercise. very easy to use, and it's quick to get your head round, so you can quickly program and change jobs. Well, you can see that by my young apprentice doing it. All right, let's move on to the next machine. Let's go. So this machine, Paul, is the TC320 LTY from XYZ. What's this done for the company? Oh, this, is, this has been an absolutely terrific job for us. We, we got rid of three machines, two capstans and a mill, and put in that, and one person makes the job complete. Is it, is it because of the, the capabilities or the additional axes like the Y-axis? It's, it's because of the capabilities of the Y-axis on the machine. So it's a combination of your good quality guys as well as a good quality machine? Yes, and a good quality control. Yeah, the control the shop. is absolutely excellent. How long has the machine been on site? Uh, about two years now. Okay, so multi-axis turning as well. Right, we'll yeah. move on. Let's go on to the, the, uh, the lathes. That's okay, anyway. So, so here we've got the, these are SLX machines. Yes. What do you do with these, Paul, and how long have these been here? Uh, that one's been here since 2008. That was my very first one. And that convinced me with all the rest of the XYZs of what qualities they've got on there. And what we do is a variety of turning, but we do short batches. So we do small batches like we got there and, and there. And he does longer jobs on that one because we just bought that one. It's about a year old, that one. Uh, that's a long bed one. That's a two meter bed. And did you go from, from manual lathes to these? I mean, you, 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 you've got CNC here, but is that how, is that the, is that well, where the transition? Worked. I mean, the guys that are working these now are all manual machinists. So where the ones on every machine we saw, they, they all came from the manual machines and they converted to this. And gradually the company will, will turn that in. So all these manual machines we're going to walk past in a minute, one day they'll be XYZ? I should imagine so. So now we have the SMX 4000 bed mill. This is a machine, a CNC bed mill that you do prototyping onto? Yeah, we do prototyping on this one. This actually is a machine that actually made me go for the LPM because it's what this can do and exactly what the LPM but can do it in, in CNC type form. But this has been, our, our, I think, one of the first ones to pay for itself since we've had it. It has really been terrific for this section. And what makes it terrific? because of the control. Proto-track control is an excellent job. I'm hearing this message a lot today, right? Let's go on to the, uh, the big lathe. So this is some lathe, how long have you had this? We've had this one about three years. And this is the type of work that we do on this. Uh, and it's made it so easy from what we used to do. I mean, we don't have to form that with form tools. We, we, on that type of machine, we used to form tools on there, but on there you generate it all, and it's so much quicker and easier to use that type of jobs on there. So that was your old machine, the one behind you, yes. now this machine has re replaced it. And when, when you look at what it's done for the business, how much has it improved your throughput? Oh, I would say by 50% or phenomenal, to be quite honest, because all the CNC, all the XYZs have, have improved our production by 100%, I think. So since 2008, this, call it, relationship with XYZ yeah. started, where would you be now if it hadn't have been for them? Uh, back in the old days, using manual machines, having twice as many people out there as we got now. And that's one of the good things. It, it sort of cuts down how many, how many people you need in the factory. 
we're not losing them because uh, they're, they're here anyway. And I think the that you're not making simple parts, or you're not machining simple materials. You're, yeah. you're doing some really challenging stuff. We, we, we threw an ink canal on this one. And uh, I must say, we weren't sure it was going to do it, but it, it, it eats it. It really does eat ink canal jobs on here. Um, like most of the other machines, uh, the 425s, they, they turn ink canal. One happy customer. One happy co customer. That's the hardest material we got here and it wears a lot of inserts, but we're happy, dead happy, and we'll be buying more.